Well, um, we wanted to show everybody that a deaf person can be on a boat like anybody else. I can do research on a boat like anybody else. There are ways to communicate. There are a variety of ways to communicate. It's not just, you know, how other people talk that can hear. There's so many other things we can do. Deaf people can do anything. So it was nice. It's nice for everyone to know that. What's your name? My name is Giovanna Valdez Anderson. Vasquez Anderson. Uh. And I'm from Hollywood, Florida. I was born and raised in Hollywood, Florida. And then I did all my undergraduate work in Gallaudet and Washington, D.C., so all of my experience is there. Um, all of my work has been on the water quality of the lakes and the oceans. We did a lot of chemical analysis. And then I worked with another company doing um, bio, bio analysis, comparing previous research to find out what toxicity levels were in those rivers as well. And I've always loved science. It's just kind of always been my thing. I'm super good at it. So I tried a lot of different types of science, but I felt like marine science is just where my heart is, you know? My, you know, with my father being a boat captain, it's just everything fell into place. You know, I knew for sure it was in my blood. But then after a while, after going through, I, I realized I definitely want to pursue this field. So once I graduated um, with my undergrad, I came here. I was so excited to come to this program and I got accepted. And I'm super excited to learn new things from everybody here at this campus and really enjoy that. That's great. Now, field work is a part of marine science and you experienced kind of a hurdle to, to be able to do it? Yes, I definitely do. But I have a lot of different ways to try to break those barriers down. I mean, to show people what I can do, you know, it doesn't always have to be hearing and speaking. There's a lot of other ways to communicate with people and gesture. I think Miami is so easy because people, you know, Spanish people tend to use their hands to talk anyhow, right? So it's not that hard for anybody. But I think it's just kind of natural. And I think the best way is before the trip is to sit down with somebody and talk about the communication needs so everyone feels comfortable. Like today, me and Charles spent together this morning. We talked about how the day was going to look before we went. Everything was fine. There was no awkward moments. There was no problems at all. We made it happen. person in this program and if the other deaf people want to come later they're going to really advise they're going to rely on what I teach them now on how to treat deaf people so but I love that I think really so far all the students and all the professors have been super supportive of me and I really appreciate that I definitely feel welcome here so I super appreciate it that's awesome and one last thing um, sea keepers we deal a lot with yachts and boats because that's what we do we connect boats and yachts to scientists so that they can go out and do field research now you had mentioned when we were on the boat today that you have an idea for making boats more deaf friendly can you tell us a little bit about that I think that's something that a lot of people don't realize and I think it's a really interesting thing for you to talk about yeah, definitely. A uh, brief description. I won't, you know, go go too much. I don't want no one to steal my idea, so I'm ah, going to tell you true. all of it, of course, right? Of course. But again, thinking something that's more deaf friendly. And when we say deaf friendly, um, if we're talking about a research boat, I mean, people that can rent out the boat if they need for research. And part of the agreement will be, if you want to use our research boat, then we're going to must partner with one of our deaf interns, right? Put together some kind of program where people and people know how to work on the boat and give more opportunities for deaf people as well. But on top of that, trying to make people who are not deaf feel more comfortable with deaf people. So there's a lot of benefits.